Let's do another example using the comparison test. This example will be similar to the example of the previous video. Not quite identical, however. Still, our intuition is the same. When n gets large, 5n plus 7 being a polynomial ought to look like its leading term. If the denominator starts to look like 5n, this series should start to look like the harmonic series, which diverges. So that's our guess, that the series diverges. Let's try to formalize our intuition using the comparison test. If the comparison test is going to show divergence, we need a smaller series that diverges. To make a fraction smaller, we can do one of two things. We can either shrink the numerator or increase the denominator. Now, the numerator is just a constant. I mean, we could replace this five with a four or a three or whatever, but constant multiples aren't really, I mean, they're not changing convergence. Like it's true that five, over 5n plus 1 is greater than 1 over 5n plus 1. But that doesn't seem to be useful to us because we don't know whether this series converges or diverges. Let's look at the denominator. Can we grow that denominator? It's not obvious what to do here. But after fiddling around a little, here's what I came up with. The convergence and divergence of a series never depends on where we start. If I have a one here or a 10 here or a 100 here, it doesn't affect convergence or divergence. If I started, at some large number, say I started at 100, then the seven would always be less than n. And five n plus seven, will be less than 5n plus 
thus end. So to grow the denominator and shrink the series, I'll replace this denominator with a 6n. Now this 5 and this 6 are constants, they pull out of infinite sums, just like they do finite sums. And this series is the harmonic series, and it diverges. A divergent series times a non-zero constant still diverges. So this series is greater than a divergent series and it diverges. Now this was not an obvious step. At least I don't think it was obvious. And using the comparison test like this kind of feels like it's missing the point. I mean, our intuition up here is that this series looks like this series and therefore diverges. In the next video, we'll learn the limit comparison test, which does a better job, I think, of embracing that intuition.